YouTubers, welcome to another completed build. Um, this is the Nissan 300ZX convertible. Uh, it's from Tamiya, and uh, I started this uh, a while back. Now, one of my first videos, I had uh, I had uh, what do you call? It? I had done the chassis and the interior and everything, and the engine bay and all that, but I screwed up the body. So I had it, you know, stripped and I just sort of, I don't know, just couldn't be bothered with it, didn't want to finish it off, but uh, this week, uh, because I'd finished off the Dodge Monaco and I had, uh, I didn't really want to start anything new and, you know, until we got the, the uh, Chevy Cheeseburger Tribute build started uh, yesterday, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to finish off this build and I thought it was a perfect opportunity, instead of some, starting something new, just finish off a, what we call a shelf queen. So there she is, I just painted her in green. Uh, I, um, yeah, I planned to do some, some effects on the body, some graphics and stuff, and that's what screwed it up the first time, because I, well, I screwed up basically, so I didn't like, I didn't like the effect that I'd done, so, um, I was going to attempt it again, and yeah, I did it. I just wanted to keep it simple. But, um, I'll give you a look on the inside here. Like I said, you probably you might have seen this, or even if you remember it when I first started on YouTube, I had this half completed. Can't really see much there, I guess. Um, and we have the engine bay. And you can see there's a slight different colour in green there. That was a, a nail polish. And, uh, yeah, I obviously didn't have the same colour, so I just did something different. But I'm not really fussed about it. Like I said, I just wanted to finish it off and, you know, put it on the shelf where it belongs. On the, on the completed shelf. 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 <laughs> completed shelf. Uh, instead of the shelf queen. Um... The wheels, I have blacked out the centers. Well, most of it, I guess. Just left the chrome rim around it. Uh, these rims don't come with a kit. They were a separate, I think, the Aoshima. Aoshima rims. Because I got this kit cheap, basically, and it didn't have the wheels and tires in it, so I just did it. It's got some aftermarket wheels and tires and put them on. Um, added a bit of camber to the front wheels, so if you can really see it, slight camber there. Um, these wheels are posable, being a Tamiya kit. I still need to add the front and rear license plates. The, the plates are there, but I've just got to print some up. Uh, added some custom decals, as you can see on the hood there. I made what is it, Antera. They're basically the, a wheel manufacturer. So, I just thought it looked cool. You know, added the uh, like cane in, cane in uh, decal on that side, and we've got Apexy on this side. Uh, on the back bumper, I put down Brembo, Brembo, and Alpine. And those decals didn't turn out too great. You can see the thing around them. I think it was a different sheet, but. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing really special to talk about. Uh, just want to share with you guys the completed build. Uh, there's underneath. Um, this was a pretty good kit from Tamiya. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you can still find it, I I do recommend it. Like I said, it goes together well, and it's got a lot of detail. And of course, it has the engine, which not a lot of Tamiya kits do, unless you're paying a good price for them. And that's it. I'll put up a slideshow and I'll let you guys go. Catch you later.